Welcome to A Great Cooker. I'm Sophronia. Let me share with you a secret. I have woefully neglected my cast iron grill slash griddle. Let me show you the other side. Isn't that a mess? Now that I've moved into a house where I have a gas stove, I want to get this all cleaned up and treated and keep it on the back of my stove so that I can actually start using it. So let me show you my secret weapon. You're going to need some SOS pads, or these aren't SOS pads, SOS is name brand. You're going to need some heavy duty steel wool soap pads like this. I got these, I think, from Dollar General. These are some I have from the Dollar Tree, or no, not Dollar Tree, from Walmart. They also have some, a different brand at the Dollar Tree. But this is gonna be my best friend right now. And I'm gonna wet these up, and I'm gonna scrub and scrub and scrub and scrub all that rust off. Just make this, just wet it thoroughly. And it's just gonna take several of these a lot of time and a lot of elbow grease. Going to turn the water on and rinse away some of the rust so I can see where I stand with this. And I'm just gonna keep scrubbing until it's clean. Let me show you how you can tell when this, um, you finally probably gotten all of the rest off of it. When I first started scrubbing it, the suds were coming up rust colored. But now can you see that they're, now as I'm scrubbing, they're staying blue. They're staying the blue color that the SOS pad usually produces. So once, <laughs> goodness y'all, I've been scrubbing it probably at least 20, 25 minutes. So I'm getting there. It's still rust colored right there. So, but like I said, I'm getting closer to being done. I've now flipped to the other side and started scrubbing. Let me show you. I'm keeping this side nice and lathered up with the SOS suds. I'm keeping that on there because I don't want this to start to be wet and start rusting again before I can dry it off. So I'm just keeping that side like that while I scrub on this side. Okay, after spending way more of my life on this than I wanted to, then I finally got the rest off. So the next step is just to get all, all of that SOS residue to rinse all of that off of the entire uh, off of both sides to rinse it off entirely off of both sides and then you're going to want to dry this and I mean really 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 well because the water resting on the cast iron is how mine got so rusty in the first place so I'm going to take a lot of time and get in and out of all of these grooves and crevices and get this 100% dry as you can see, this is a huge improvement. I do still see a little bit of rust in the corners here. I mean, I probably could go over this again. Oops. But on this side, you see a huge improvement. So I'm going to link to my next video where I'm going to show how to treat this. So that way, this won't happen again. Make sure you subscribe so you can get to that next video and also all of my videos where I cook easy meals using my handy kitchen gadgets and small kitchen appliances. I'll see you in the next video.